Hi guys, Charlie from Monocure 3D. Welcome to Pro Tips. Today I'm going to check out the Anycubic Photon Mono M7 Pro. Let's get into it. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane and cast our minds back to the first Photon launched in 2018. Well, it doesn't seem that long ago, but they have changed dramatically over the years. Ironically, they were one of the first to have a hinge lid, and somewhere along the line, they went to the annoying lift-off lid. They started with the colour LCD screen and layer exposures of 12 seconds. As the screens went monochrome, the speed increased and the size to the new standard of 10 inch, which of course improved the build volume. Fast forward to now, this M7 Pro is packed with features that were only pipe dreams six years ago. So let's have a deep dive on the top 10 features of the Anycubic M7 Pro. The main difference from the Photon M7 and the M7 Pro is the dynamic temperature control resin vac. Now, you might be wondering, is this such a big deal? And that's why it's our first feature to explore. So Anycubic has come up with what the marketing department has called dynamic temperature control. The resin vat actively regulates the temperature by using an inbuilt peristaltic pump. There are some resins that are highly viscous and by heating the resins will lower the viscosity and will help reduce the suction forces on some models. Personally, I don't think the heater pump should have come as standard or at least not permanently attached to the vat. It makes the vat very heavy, bulky and difficult to clean between resin. The next feature allows the M7 Pro to automatically refill the resin tank. The printer is equipped with a resin sensor that monitors the resin levels in real time. When the resin vat runs low, the system automatically dispenses more resin from a connected external resin container. This means you can print larger models or run longer prints without worrying about manually adding more resin part way through the process. Saying that, I have seen some disturbing pics on social media of these cheap resin fillers failing to stop and the user discovers a pool of resin all over the printer, bench and floor. Running out of resin is a huge problem as it usually happens towards the end of the print and it's a complete waste of time and money. Okay, number three. If you're not using the Anycubic resin refill, the Photon M7 can predict resin levels and users are promptly reminded to refill the vat. This is a great new feature, especially for those who know the frustration of running out of resin mid-print. So here's how it works. The printer constantly monitors the resin level in the vat. If it detects the resin is getting low for the next layer or slice, you'll get a notification to refill it before it becomes a problem. So no more failed prints just because you ran out of resin. Another impressive feature of the M7 Pro is its residue detection system. This could save your screen and lots of money. But the M7 Pro's residue detection feature, that risk is lowered. The printer actively scans for any solid resin bits left in the vat after a print. If it detects anything, it immediately alerts you with a pop-up notification on the screen. This means no more relying on manual inspections. You might miss these little bits of resin that could cause serious damage to your screen. Okay, let's talk about the failed print detection. If you've been in 3D printing for a while, you'll know how frustrating it is to have a failed print. It's a waste of resin and time. With the M7 Pro, Anycubic has really stepped up by introducing an intelligent monitoring system that claims it can detect failures in real time. During the printing process, the printer actively checks for issues like layer fractures, bottom layer detachment, and other print defects. If the system detects any of these problems, it automatically halts the printer and triggers a pop-up alert on the display. So what is exactly the Light Turbo 3? Well, it's a COB or chip on board light source system. It's paired with a special lens and a front facing reflector. Now, I have to say I'm not a fan of this system and I'm surprised to see any cubic go down this path. Even light is essential in resin printing. That is why the DLP system was always considered superior to the MSLA system. Uneven light distribution, which can lead to inconsistent curing across your model causing defects, inaccuracies or layer misalignments. So I'll have to do some more printing with this to properly gauge whether this Turbo Light 3 is an advantage or not. 
Boasting an impressive 10.1 inch screen at 14K resolution in a crazy 13,320 by 5,120 resolution or 16 microns in the X and Y, this is a long way from the original Anycubic 2K screen at 47 microns. So whether you're printing large detailed models like statues, architectural models or multiple smaller parts in a single go, the M7 Pro has a decent build volume. Not having to split your model into smaller sections can save heaps of times with model preparation. Another feature built into the Anycubic M7 Pro is its release film lifespan management system. Basically it warns you when the film has done 45,000 peel cycles and reminds you to change it. Personally, I can tell by looking at the FEP when it needs changing, but I can see this could be a good reminder for those in a shared environment with multiple users of the same printer and those who have never emptied the vat and run the same resin all the time. The M7 Pro includes Wi-Fi, allowing users to monitor and control their prints remotely via the mobile app. This feature is perfect for busy users who can't always be near their printer and it lets you check the progress of your print jobs from anywhere, making adjustments or pausing the print if needed. The M7 Pro claims to be one of the fastest desktop MSLA printers on the market, with impressive claims of 220mm an hour when printing at 0.2mm layer height. I'm not a huge fan of the build plate, as the laser etching looks impressive, but doesn't seem to work as well as the original checker plate system they were using in the past. The levelling seems to work well, much better than Illigoo's latest version on the Saturn IV, which traps resin between two plates making a huge mess. My final comment has to be on the lid. This lid is a serious bugbear of mine. Really, Anycubic, why am I having to lift off this lid, even without a hand tool, getting resin all over it and having nowhere to put it? I really hope your designers can work on a hinge lid for the next generation of printers. My final comment to the team at Anycubic is, we all love the extra features that the N7 Pro has, but we really liked the original Mono X printer because they're a solid build and a reliable printer. So don't sacrifice the basics for gimmicks that most people won't use. Well, there you have it guys, the M7 Pro from Anycubic, a very impressive printer packed with features. That's our top 10. Remember, subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell, but most importantly, remember to keep on 3D printing.